Embarking on quick and concise journeys, the allure of solitude leads us to walk with unimpeded steps. However, when faced with a long and challenging road, the appeal of companionship encourages us to walk it together, united by a common purpose. Within this contemplation lies a profound question. Who accompanies us on our odyssey? This question carries significant weight, because not all undertakings are advantageous. Occasionally, the union can become complicated. Thus, we are reminded of the fundamental truth that, in the vast structure of existence, we enter this world alone, and likewise, we will leave in solitude. Embarking on the domain of solitude, discovering comfort in one's own presence, represents a highly valuable skill. It is only through appreciating the moments spent alone that the true essence of togetherness can be fully understood. As individuals, we possess a distinctive characteristic, the ability to exist without an impulsive desire for constant activity. Our conscience endows us with the wisdom to act with deliberate intention and discernment, distinguishing us from creatures guided only by instinct. However, when people get together, things change, and the desire to act without thinking often becomes stronger. Groups form with a common purpose, or people come together for a specific reason. On the other hand, in the middle of a crowd, the need to follow can take over, drowning out individual thoughts. To reach our full potential as humans, we must accept just sitting quietly, thinking and being. This is something personal. Even when we join a group, each person in the group is still an individual, all connected by being themselves. Each person is an individual masterpiece created from their experiences, beliefs, and dreams. In moments of solitude, we artistically color the canvas of our lives, defining our identity. Initially, it is crucial to understand the core of solitude as a transformative journey towards conscious evolution. It becomes a sacred communion with yourself, a journey into the unknown territories of your soul, where revelations unfold like petals at dawn. The sanctuary of solitude is a refuge where you can recharge, reflect, and rejuvenate. As we delve deeper into self-reflection, we gain an understanding of the patterns that influence our behaviors, the origins of our fears and the aspirations that ignite our souls. Through this process of introspection, we discover the latent seeds of growth within use. It is the recognition that we play the dual role of sculptor and sculpture, the architects of our destiny, and the clay waiting to be shaped. Genuine transformation on this journey comes as we wholeheartedly embrace the process of self-improvement with patience and compassion. By tending to the garden of our thoughts, pulling out the weeds of self-doubt and cultivating the flowers of self-love, moments of solitude become the key to personal development, reaching its peak. Like a butterfly emerging from its cocoon, we free ourselves from the constraints of the past and spread our wings to fly towards new horizons. In the fast-paced modern world, the concept of solitude often causes discomfort. The lure of continuous external stimulation, combined with the fear of confronting our innermost thoughts, can lead us to seek comfort in the distractions of the outside world. But why not seek solace within ourselves? Simply being alone in the present moment, experiencing every detail of that moment. Being alone takes courage, because it requires facing ourselves without adornment, without the armor of social roles, and without the shield of external validation. This encourages us to recognize our vulnerabilities and strengths, our dreams and fears, and a range of emotions that shape our perceptions. In the midst of this silence, we rediscover the wisdom that lies dormant within us. The wisdom to recognize that true growth comes from embracing our imperfections, our fears, and not from trying to hide them. The beauty of self-development lies in recognizing that we are a work in progress, constantly evolving. On this journey we realize that it's not about seeking perfection, but about understanding and nurturing the divine spark 
that resides within us, we are the image and likeness of the Creator. This is why being alone is not akin to loneliness. It is an expression of self-affection and self-compassion. It is in this solitude that we emerge as our best companion, our personal confidant, and our main motivator. We cultivate the art of treating each other with kindness, forgiving our mistakes, and celebrating our triumphs. In addition, we gather the courage to face the shadows that remain within us, the insecurities, uncertainties, and anxieties. These shadows, similar to the dark clouds in the sky, veil the brightness of our genuine self. However, by shedding the light of awareness on them, we discern that they are mere illusions, transitory, and weak in the face of our inner fortitude. By welcoming loneliness, we recognize our interconnectedness with the world. We understand that our personal progress is closely linked to the growth of the collective. By taking care of ourselves, we contribute to the collective consciousness, unleashing a cascade of positive transformation in the surrounding world. In the midst of the clamor of the external world, silence becomes a revered interval, a moment of connection with the universe. Within this stillness, we discern the reverberations of our own heartbeats, the murmurs of our soul, and the cosmic rhythms that unite us all. We also discover the space to dream and visualize a life in harmony with our deepest desires. We discard the restrictions imposed by external expectations and embrace the limitless possibilities unfolding before use. Within this sanctified realm of creation, we come to understand that we wield the paintbrush to create the structure of our destiny. By nurturing a deep connection with ourselves, we evolve into more genuine and attentive beings in our dealings with others. When we participate in relationships based on self-awareness, we create connections based on sincerity, empathy, and respect. So let's welcome loneliness as a gateway to deep connection. By embracing our own growth, we not only improve our lives, but also contribute to the further evolution of humanity. In the dance between self and society, we discover the beauty of our shared journey, fostering a world where the radiant glow of personal enlightenment illuminates the path for others to follow. At first glance, the idea of loneliness may seem contradictory to the pursuit of meaningful relationships. Indeed, human existence thrives on connections with other people. However, it is through the experience of being alone that we open the door to genuine connections. We begin to develop emotional insight enabling us to understand and resonate with our own emotions and those of others. Emotional insight serves as a link that connects us to the hearts of others, nurturing sincere connections based on empathy and understanding. When we understand our emotions and needs, we can express them clearly and authentically to others. This sincere and transparent exchange establishes a safe environment for vulnerability and trust to thrive. Therefore, those intervals when we are alone function as the break, the moment of contemplation that enhances the connection that follows with others. It is in this pause that we achieve the clarity to distinguish the relationships that nourish our soul and harmonize with our values. Solitude gives us the discernment to identify when a relationship may not be conducive to our growth and well-being. As we come to the end of this in-depth exploration, let's pause to contemplate the wisdom that has revealed itself before us. Far from being an act of isolation, being alone is a deliberate decision to dive into the depths of our existence, to understand our true selves. It's about embracing our uniqueness, promoting self-love, and extending compassion to others. On this expedition of self-discovery, we become beacons of inspiration, bringing about positive changes in the lives of those around us. So embrace the power of solitude as a sacred pilgrimage to your innermost self. By understanding and valuing yourself, you unlock the key to genuinely understanding and valuing others. On this expedition of self-discovery, we become beacons of inspiration. 
provoking positive changes in the lives of those around us. So embrace the power of solitude as a sacred pilgrimage to your innermost self. By understanding and valuing yourself, you unlock the key to genuinely understanding and valuing others. And keep in mind that it is in this act of embracing solitude that we find the path to self-realization, awakening to the deep intertwining of all life. So dear friend, if this content has resonated with you, I encourage you to show your support by clicking the like button and subscribing to our channel. Share this video with people close to you who might find value in this message and remember to leave a comment below sharing your reflections and personal experiences. Thanks for tuning in and being part of this journey.